Hi, Valerie Frazier here from the Mirror and I Salon. I get a lot of questions about how do I refresh my hair, especially my wavy girls. So I'm gonna show you how I do mine. I slept on it yesterday, this is second day hair. I didn't even bother to pineapple it, but it's real easy and simple, and I'll show you all the things that I use. So here we go. So one of the first things is to have a really nice water bottle. I love this water bottle. You can purchase them at the salon. It's a misting water bottle. See how it does that? Now I don't just put water in here. I have this much water and I'm going to put a little bit of essential oil in it. I just kind of guess. So I do a few drops of lavender, probably about six. And then I do a little bit of rosemary. Rosemary and lavender are great for calming the hair, also great for encouraging the curl or wave pattern. And then I use a little bit of peppermint. Peppermint is refreshing for the scalp and just refreshing all the way around. So you'll notice I'm just guessing. And then I shake it up. And I shake it up every time. You could put rocks or marbles or anything like that in here, but I just shake it up so you'll see it's kind of floating around in there. All right, now I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna take my ponytail out. You can see I've got a little bit of second day action. I've got a little ponytail hair thing. I did not sleep with a pineapple, which really is the best way. I take a wide tooth comb and I will kind of pick out the bottom area for me because I do sleep kind of wild and crazy just to get like the little tangles at the nape area mostly. I try not to disturb the rest of the wave pattern. So just real simply, very gently, get rid of those little shed hairs. Then I take my water bottle and I mist. I lift it up and I mist. The idea is that I want to get it damp. I'm actually going to flip over a little bit. And I start encouraging the wave or the curl pattern. Now, sometimes I do this when I've pineappled my hair and it works great. Um, today I did not. So now I'm going to take a little bit of uh, the Inner Sense hair love prep spray this is great for heat protection but i also like it because it's like a leave-in conditioner with a little bit of guts and i just spritz and you can see i'm smoothing sections just a little bit and i'm going to check the scrunch it's looking pretty good i found a little dry spot so i'm going to mist it just a little bit not a lot we don't want it soaking wet now i'm going to take my fiber mousse by ref Anything, any kind of mousse will work. You could also use, those of you that like to use Kinky Curly, I'm using fiber mousse. This much, and I'm rubbing it in my palms. And I'm gonna do a variation of what's called the Smasters Technique. So I'm just taking that product and smoothing over. I've got two big sections on my hair. If you have more hair than me, you'll probably wanna take more. All right, so now I'm scrunching. I'm gonna pick out my bangs just a little bit. They need to be combed out. I often blow my bangs out because uh, I don't like the way they wave, but that's not a necessary thing on wash day. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the I Create Finish by Innersense. I use it like a spray gel. You'll notice I'm not using a ton of product. This could also be like your Ocean Mist or uh, the I Create Waves by Innersense as well. Any kind of spray like that will work. And so now I'm going to diffuse. I'll put that on a little speed though. So at this point, I'm using a high heat and a low blow, and I'm hitting my cool shot button every so often. You can see I'm just getting around my head as much as possible. Okay, so basically, I've just been doing a high heat and a low blow and hitting my cool shot button. That's what you saw in the video, just continuing to set that in place. With, with wavy hair, um, it might not dry the way we want it to when we air dry on refresh day. Then I do another little trick. I take the diffuser off the blow dryer. I'm gonna go nozzle free, but you don't have to, and I'm gonna hang my head upside down. And just gently, once again, just to give myself a little lift, I'm shaking it out. 
I'm also breaking the little bit of cast that was made. All right. Now I'm going to flip it up. Check and make sure everything's good and in place. Oh, look at that little curl I got going on there. Pretty cool, huh? And now I like to use a little bit of my Wonder Oil or a serum. Uh, you don't have to. Some people like to. I like to. Just a little bit. Just to kind of refresh my scalp. Um, at this point, I would then use a dry shampoo. I'm going to grab my Inner Sense Refresh. I like this because it comes out in a foam. And I can use it to give my ends a little bit of texture. So I'm rubbing my hands. Do at the base. I also do a little dry shampoo on wash day because it helps with uh, being a proactive ingredient. So I'm scrunching. And then I use a little bit of hairspray. You can use the I Create Finish as a hairspray, but I like an aerosol. There we go. I know that's a curly girl no-no for some people, but I like a little bit of aerosol, oh, actually. And actually, a little bit of aerosol hairspray will help with some humidity. But with wavy girls, we got to kind of set ourselves in place. Spray my little bangs a little bit. And there you have it. I just refreshed my hair. The whole process actually took about 10 and a half minutes. Um, I'm probably talking longer in the video. But there you go. I hope that helps you guys. This is everything I used today for my refresh.